Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first match day vlog of the 2023-24 season. Heading down to Norwich today. I'm super excited for it. Tick the ground off. Should be good fun. It's a long drive but I'm looking forward to it. Football's back. I love it. Time is nearly nine o'clock. We're going to get down the endless air, um, air roads in just a few moments. I cannot wait. I'm so buzzing for this, you know. I'll put the teams on the screen. Cool, City! I will just quickly add that, because I want to get this out as quickly as I can for you lot, this isn't the full graphical package you'll get on Matchday Vlogs this season. That will debut on Tuesday against Doncaster. in and the, uh, the rain has picked up but Norwich have also had pretty much everything in this game they've had two uh, decent chances just now England's made a good save uh, they had a ball, uh, the ball in the net but it was offside once and they have had a dubious call for a penalty where Josh Sargent looked to have just sort of fell down from where we stood Liam Delap making the challenge now he's been beaten by Gianni Lister Talk about the refereeing quickly. Ben Gibson has fouled Liam Delap about 5,000 times. Exaggeration. At least as Matt Ingram makes a good save. Ben Gibson has fouled Liam Delap on a fair few occasions, got away with it. Seri and Traore's first fouls, Seri's foul very similar to that of Gibson on Delap, by the way. That first one's a booking. Traore's was a little bit more slam dunk. But Seri's. And Gibson's have been very similar. Gibson has got away without punishment for his multiple series first. He has been booked by the referee. Food for thought, that. Ben Gibson is finally booked. Vinagra's first foul, booked. Norwich have just come close. But while that's been happening, we've just noticed that the referee has booked Seri twice. So he booked him earlier, he's just booked him again. He hasn't sent him off. If you don't believe me, I'll show you my screenshots. I'll put on the screen now. Seri was booked earlier, and now he's just been booked again for a foul. Update on the two yellow cards thing. City's app says Seri twice. Flash score says Seri twice. One football says Greaves in the 27th minute and then Seri just now. Further update on this, someone sat near us says their brother is watching it at home. It was Seri's foul initially but Greaves got booked for it. That makes sense. And we've now just got two added minutes. I thought there would be about seven. But no, just the two. There's a surprise. Right as the clock strikes 47, Norwich at level. That went in at 47.03. Good I think it was Jonathan Rowe who scored that over Norwich. It was a really well worked move, but gutting it's come. I mean, great finish. Gutting it's come right on the stroke at half time. 
Is he blowing then? That's half time. There we have it, half time. Half time, and like I said, the timing of that goal is unfortunate. It's been quite an even half. Norwich have chucked a lot at it. And when we've come forward, I think we've looked menacing as well. But like I say, quite even, and both teams will be wanting to win it in this uh, second half coming up. Surprised there was only two minutes added, though. That, uh, that shocked me a little bit. And I've got to say, Dolak is a right handful for defenders. I think he will be absolutely incredible for us this season. And then you throw into the mix the fact we've got Oscar and Connolly on the bench. Remarkable, remarkable forward line. Two fans done well. Harry Vaughan and Adama Traore wide of press really well. But Norwich equally, they have done really, really well to play through our press quite a lot as well when we're pushing high with two fans with Dalat, with Vaughan. And pressing them when they're deep. They've played round us really quite well and they deserve a lot of credit for that. Second half about to get underway then. Two unchanged teams. No subs at the break, and two fan gets us underway. Ten minutes in to this second half then, and it has been absolutely all Norwich. We've not had, we've not had a slip at all. Ashley Barnes has just come very close with a header, and they could, probably should, have had a penalty for a handball shout on Louis Coyle, which from where I'm stood, looks quite a lot like a handball. I'm not, the ball's just gone out for a throw into Norwich. I'm not quite sure how that's their throwing. But anyway, yeah, they're all over us here. Delab putting Gibson under pressure though. He's forced the city throwing. Norwich have been extension. Extension to that last point. Norwich have been just all over us. But Delap plays a ball forward there. The main man for Norwich has been their number 27, Jonathan Rowe. He has been remarkable. Everything good Norwich have done in a lot of the first half and at the start of this second as well has come through him. They just had a moment where he was running through totally unchallenged and he could have taken it on his own. Probably should have done, but he played it to Sargent who was forced wider by Greaves and put it into the side netting. We need to, we need to find something here. We need to score. On the ball now, finds Traore. What can Adama do? Beats his man, hits it! Oh, why didn't he just shoot instead of playing it to two fan? That was an opportunity, that, but we didn't go for it. 65th minute, and we have just had our first venture into the Norwich City half. Liam Delap, once he got his footing, unleashed a brilliant effort with his left foot. And it forced Angus Gunn into a brilliant save. Two City changes now. The first of which is Ruben Minagra coming on to be replaced by Sean McLaughlin. And the second is Adama Traore coming on to be replaced by Cyrus Christie. Come on, Third change for City. Ozan Tufan coming off. And he's going to be replaced by Aaron Connolly coming on to make his second debut. Well, the club. Ten minutes to go. Two changes for City. Liam Delap coming off. He's had a very good debut. Oscar comes on to replace him. And Harry Vaughan will make his way off as well. To Xavier Simons. Norwich have just had a brilliant effort. I think it was Nunez who took the shot. He took a deflection on the way through. Went just over the bar. Really, really tested Ingram. Very, very close. And. The referee signed out a scuffle in the centre of the area as a corner is about to be whipped in. It was just starting to film the corner when he called it for a foul. So uh, we'll take that. Foul, uh, free kick for City just on the edge of our box. Five minutes to go. We'll stop this time. Five minutes added on at the end of this half. Three for City to have anything. And if either team is going to do it, it's definitely going to be We're nearing the end now. It's full time in that place. Robbed. Never ever a corner. 
Never ever a corner. Absolutely robbed. Dreadful officiating that. Dreadful officiating. And that's cost us a point in what could be a very, very crucial and tight championship season. Joke. Disgusting refereeing. Well then, ladies and gents, that is it. Um, on the balance of play, Norwich did deserve to win it. And, you know, that can't be argued. They battered us that second half. But we... Racine, you made changes to, you know, counteract the fact that they were on top by bringing Xavier Simons and Cyrus Christie on. And that worked. Um, but then to lose it, even though Norwich deserved to win it, to lose the point on a call like that is disgraceful. And the fact that it was replayed on the screen and the referee didn't, you know, give it. Like I say, I haven't seen it back, but from where I was, it was so, so far out before Jack Stacey crossed it and it hit McLaughlin and then bounced out for what the referee gave as a corner. After 100 yards, so, sharp left. who knows? Who knows? Uh, but from my point of view, a bit of disgusting officiating has cost us a point there. And... I'm not happy, not, not, not happy at all about that. But, yeah, that's that's football, I suppose. Liam Racine uh, got sent off at the end, I've seen notifications-wise, and I'm not surprised. Um, dreadful officiating for me, but... <coughs> yeah, disappointing, disappointing, definitely, but thank you for watching, and I will see you on Tuesday in the Carabao Cup, where hopefully we can make amends a little bit before putting things right in the league getting our first points on the board against Sheffield Wednesday this time next week. Take care, everyone.